Uh, Carson. Okay. <laughs> you are truly a gift to me. And the biggest blessing of my life. What we're witnessing today is a covenant made between two. Before God and before one another in the presence of family and friends. So we say, what a gift. You know, when, when Julie was born, she was put in my arms, and the first thought I had was, I'm going to be giving you away someday. I realized at that moment that the clock was ticking, and I only had so much time before this day would come. And I've had 25 years, honey, to get ready for this moment, and I'm not ready. From your head to your toes From your heart to your soul There's not one part that I would change There's not one part that I would change <laughs> Do you like it? Yes <laughs> Oh my gosh <laughs> You look so grateful. Oh. Wow. <laughs> From the way that you love To your heart for the love Carson. <laughs> Where you go, I will go. Where you stay, I will stay. Your people will be my people, and your God my God. Where you die, I will die, and there I will be buried. And may the Lord deal with me, be it ever so severely, if even death separates you and me. Hi, Shugs. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think I would cry this much. <laughs> you are the joy of my life. As long as I have you, I will treasure it each and every day. Maybe see it. You okay? No. <laughs> My job as Julie's father was to provide for and protect her until there was a man to whom I could entrust her to. You're that man. And in Julie, I am giving you my best. Today, Julie and Carson are loosening their familiar bonds with family to enter a new relationship with each other that will create a new family and a new home. So who gives this woman to be married to this man? Her mother and I do. Marriage is a good thing because it's a God thing. It's good because it's God's. Marriage is God's design, it's His doing. It's a gift to us, to you today. God designed marriage as a covenant between two people, not a contract. And this type of marriage covenant was ordained by God to provide His followers with a picture of Jesus' love and relationship to His church. That's God's ultimate purpose in marriage. Marriage is the parable that reflects the relationship of Jesus to His church. Sacrifice you made for us, Jesus, and that just represents your forgiveness and God every day. So as you love each other, it is the greatest example of Jesus to the world. Your friends and family attest to that. Julie and Carson, you are both so easy to celebrate. Ah! See the fan? Okay. Oh my God.
There's been a lot of anticipation surrounding this day, and I'm beyond thankful to finally be able to celebrate the marriage of two of my favorite people. On the plane ride over, the guy next to me said, why are you going to Denver? And I said, I'm going for my sister's destination wedding. And he said, how many people did you get to go to that? And I, when I told him the number, he said, they must be really loved. And I said, yes, they are quite the loved couple. As I step into this role as your wife, God has put several things in my heart that I want to commit to you. I vow to choose you every day of my life to be committed to you as my husband and submit to you knowing you love the Lord and look to him to guide us. I'm here to vow and promise many things to you. The first, I vow to put God first and at the center of our relationship. To rely on Him when things are good and bad, for better or worse. I vow to be your companion, your friend, your helper, and your safe place. I vow to raise our kids in a Christ-centered family. I promise to support you, to challenge you, to respect you, and to always be there for you. I promise to be faithful, committed, and honest with you. You have my heart, and I will always be loyal to you. I will respect you, trust you, and help and care for you. I know that I will not be perfect and will fail at times, but I rest knowing that you are ultimately not fulfilled by me, but by God, and he will never fail you, and I promise to always direct you to him. I will share my life with you and forgive you the same way we have been forgiven. I will love you as Christ has loved the church. I'm in the same way, I promise to always pursue Jesus myself because I know the only way I can love you well is by growing to love the Lord. I will protect you, serve you, and lead you the best way I can through God. Every good and perfect gift is from above. Today is that perfect gift. You guys are the perfect gift for each other. My hope and prayer for you is that in all things, may Jesus be the source of your love, the strength of your compassion and serving, the example of your forgiving, the guide of your future, and may he always be the center of your love. Let's raise our glasses to Julie and Carson. Julie and Carson, as witnesses to the vows you've exchanged and the commitment you've made to one another and to the Lord, it's with great pleasure I pronounce you man and wife in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, Carson, you may kiss you. It gives me a great deal of pleasure to present to you the newest couple on the planet in social media, Mr. and Mrs. Carson Skin. there for you always. With all my heart, mind, and soul, I pledge these things to you. I love you. <laughs> love you.